What up, Internet? My name is Chris, and you're about to watch one of my math videos. And I just want to let you know that if you want live tutoring, or if you just need homework solutions, or if you just want to watch all my free math videos, please visit my website at mathmeaning.com. Once again, mathmeaning.com, and I would love to help you out. In the meantime, enjoy my video, and take care. Welcome to my video. I'm going to teach you how to take the definite integral of a function. And the cool thing about definite integrals is that it allows us to take the area under the curve of any function. And I'm not going to get into area under a curve problems, but um, that's the purpose for uh, definite integrals, that it allows us to take the uh, area under any curve of any function. Uh, but what I'm going to do is just going to teach you how to take the definite integral of a function that's already given to us uh, like I have in this example right here. And you notice how this integral looks very similar to a definite, sorry, indefinite integral. Um, and the only difference is that we have a lower limit, uh, which is this number two right here. And we have an upper, upper limit, uh, which is this number three right here. And you'll notice that uh, the steps involved in uh, definite integrals are much the same as they are in indefinite integrals. Uh, so let's get started with this example. And our step number one is to integrate. Uh, so we want to integrate this um, exactly the same like we would uh, for an indefinite integral. Um, we could just use the, uh, the basic method. Uh, so we just add one to the exponent um, and divide by the same. Uh, so uh, this integral would be 3x cubed. Once again, we added one to the exponent, and we always divide by the same. Plus 2x. And for an indefinite integral, we always added a c at the end. Um, but that's one of the differences with the definite integral. Instead of adding a c, we're just going to add a big line, and we're going to put the upper limit at the top and the lower limit at the bottom. And moving on to step number two is plug in our upper limit. So we want to plug in our three into every single place where there's an x. So if we plug in our three, wherever there's an x, we get three multiplied by three cubed. divided by 3, plus 2, times 3. And once again, I just plugged in a 3 uh, wherever there's an x. And I like to put parentheses around everything. Um, and then moving on to step number 3 is that we want to subtract our lower limit. So we want to do the exact same thing, except we want to plug in our lower limit everywhere there's an x. So everywhere there's an x, I'm going to plug in a 2. So we have 3 times 2 cubed divided by 3 plus 2 times 2. And if we do basic order of operations, we get 33 in the left parentheses, and we get 12 in the right parentheses. And of course, 33 minus 12 is 11. So the definite integral of our original function 3x squared plus 2x is equal to 11. 11 is our final answer. I hope this uh, helped you understand uh, definite integrals a little bit better. Um, if you want a complete uh, collection of all my videos, uh, go to my website at mathmeaning.com. Uh, once again, mathmeaning.com. And also, if you like the way I teach, uh, please subscribe uh, to my YouTube channel. Um, also, I do live tutoring. Um, so I hope you enjoyed my video, and take care.